The nutmeg, an economic crop of Grenada, the Isle of Spice. A nutmeg is situated on the left-hand green segment of the national flag and at the right corner of the grassland base or compartment of the coat of arms. Nutmegs are also featured on the mace of the Senate and a nutmeg was poised at the center of the 1967 to 1974 flag of associated statehood. In 1772, the French introduced nutmeg to French Guiana and in 1824, it was introduced to the British colony St. Vincent and Trinidad. One may wonder about Grenada. We are Grenadians, who are you? Land of spice, where everything dies. Grenadians, may God bless you. In 1843, Mr. Frank Gurney brought nutmeg seeds to the colony of Grenada. They were obtained from the Banda Islands, which form part of modern-day Indonesia and are known as the Spice Islands. The seeds were planted on Belvedere Estate, located in the parish of St. John. The estate was owned by Mr. Thomas Duncan. According to the 1824 Garvin Smith Grenada's proprietor's listing, Mr. Duncan, in addition to Belvedere Estate, owned Moran Estate, Mount Felix Estate, Guav Estate and two others. Also, he was co-owner of Bel Air Estate and Montreal Estate and cultivated cocoa, coffee, sugarcane and provisions. Although planted on Belvedere Estate, serious nutmeg production was not considered until the 1860 crisis in the West Indian sugar industry, which led the authorities to search for other economic crops to replace sugar. In 1881, nearly 100,000 pounds weight of nutmeg and mace were exported, and in 1909, export of nutmegs and mace earned 18,000 pounds currency, and 10 years later, they earned 68,000 pounds currency. In Grenada, the sale of nutmegs is handled by the Grenada Cooperative Nutmeg Association. GCNA. Its history is well chronicled in the book, The Nutmeg Industry, Grenada's Black Gold, written by Mr. George Brazan. In 1942, there was a meeting of local nutmeg farmers, in which the idea of forming a cooperative to handle the export of the crop was considered. It led to a circular outlining the reasons for the cooperative being issued to the Secretary of State for the Colonies by then Governor Sir Arthur Grimble on 16 January 1945. The Planning Committee for drafting the legislation was chaired by Mr. Thomas Noble Smith and included the legal practitioner Mr. Ferdinand Henry. However, the first Nutmeg Industry Ordinance proved unsatisfactory to the colonial authorities and it was superseded by a revised bill, number 8 of 1946. The association officially came into being on 27 March 1947 and started receiving nutmegs on 1st October. The ordinance made the GCNA the sole exporter of Grenada's nutmegs. In effect, a monopoly was created. Also, the association dealt directly with nutmeg farmers who were paid a higher cash advance than the middlemen dealers. This led to protests by the latter. On 21st January 1948, the Honorable John Byron Renrick tabled a motion in the Legislative Council which sought to equal the advances the GCNA paid to nutmeg farmers as well as the middlemen dealers. His motion was defeated. So too was another motion introduced by the Honorable Frederick Patterson, 
which sought to create a statutory board with authority to grant licenses to middlemen dealers. There were two unsuccessful attempts at resolving the conflict between the GCNE and the middlemen dealers. The first was a committee chaired by Chief Justice Sir Clement Malone, and the second, the interventions of Professor J. Beeson. In 1949, a Nutmeg Industry Amendment Ordinance was passed, which sought to improve the financial management of the association and its relations with farmers. This amendment, however, did not address the dispute with the middlemen dealers. In 1951, the matter was finally settled when the Legislative Council established a commission of inquiry whose findings upheld the continuation of the GCNA's monopoly position. Mr. George Brazan made a significant contribution in the area of recording the history of Grenada. The nutmeg industry, Grenada's Black Gold, published in 1979, provides information on the importance of the crop to the economy. The Grenadian Peasantry and Social Revolution, 1930 to 1951, his 1979 working paper, examines the economic conditions prevalent among this class and suggests possible causes for its then underlying distress. Grenada Island of Conflict, from Amerindians to People's Revolution, 1498 to 1979. It was published in 1984 and is an outstanding chronicle of Grenada's history. Grenada Fortitude and the Human Condition, co-authored with his eldest daughter and published in 2001, gives a visual perspective on the life of Grenadians in the late 19th and early 20th century and the political events of the 1950s and 1980s. Greatness through service to humanity, the English Dominicans in Grenada since 1901, done in collaboration with Father Leroy Hopkin and published in 2001, provides 100 years of information on the presence of this religious order in Grenada. Brave Young Grenadians, Loyal British Subjects, published in 2002, highlights the contribution of Grenadians who volunteered for service in World War I and World War II. St. George's, the prettiest town in the West Indies, co-authored with Mr. Michael Jessamy and published in 2004, is an impressive as well as an informative picture album. She Stood Alone, a tribute to the Grenadian woman, completed with assistance from his wife and published in 2005. It shows the transformation of women from life on the plantation to professions in nursing, teaching, business and politics. The eight writings highlighted, along with other pamphlets and speeches of Mr. George Brisson, can be found at the Theophilus Albert Marishaw Memorial Library at Marishaw House, University of the West Indies Open Campus, Grenada.